everyone, it's me, Sydney. So today I'm going to be doing my healthy lifestyle transformation video. This is how I did it. This is an entire like basically talking video. There's gonna be some pictures, maybe some footage depending on like what I can put in. Um, just with my journey. This is my personal journey. This isn't me telling you guys what to do. This is what worked for me. This is my entire story basically at this point. If you guys want to check out Russia's, hers is going to be her fitness journey and we are very different people. We have very different journeys and if you're looking for someone who wanted to become fit and just like she radiates amazing healthy positive vibes. If you want to see that go check out her channel. I'll have it linked down below at the end of the video. Um, if you guys want to hear about how I lost 55 pounds, then keep watching. I've learned so much within this journey so far, and I'm not stopping because this is a lifestyle. This is something that I love. This is something I want to continue. I want to inspire others, and I am not certified. I am not at all telling you that this is something that, you know, is going to work for you. It, this is just personally what worked for me. So before we get started, I just wanted to do that disclaimer. And the other thing is I'm still on my journey. My journey is never going to stop. I'm never going to be able to say, wow, that was a great journey. Now I'm going to go and eat crap again because I love the lifestyle I live. I love the way that I live it. I love the feeling of waking up in the morning and knowing that I have a passion, a dream, ambitions, and things that are pushing me to keep going. This is like a lifelong thing for me. So before we uh, go into like how I did it, I'm going to talk to you about my life before. Before December 17th of 2014, that was the day that I made the change. Before that, I have hypothyroidism. That's something I can't change. That's something that I've, I still have. I take medication for, but um, it makes it harder for you to lose weight. You get tired. There's a lot of symptoms from it um, and side effects and stuff like that. I have hypothyroidism and with that comes other health problems that you can gain because you're not healthy and you're obese. And at that point, I was majorly obese, but because of my height, I don't look it compared to a shorter person. Like, I looked obese, but I didn't look severely obese, you know, but I, I was reaching that point. I was 233 pounds. I would sit on the couch, I would eat. The only vegetables I would ever eat were on a sandwich from Subway, and I'd eat the entire foot long. I had extremely high cholesterol and it was like the bad levels, you know. According to my thyroid specialist, I was also becoming pre-diabetic and that kind of scared me because that's something that you just don't think about when you're... At that point, I was 14 and I never thought that I would ever have to deal with that. I was always tired. I was becoming severely depressed um, and it was... It's not a chemical thing for me personally. Like, it wasn't... It's not something I take medication for. It was because of my eating and my exercising habits because I wasn't doing those things because I was sitting and moping around and not promoting my my health, you know? Um, I hated the way I looked. I had such awful body image and I hated my face. I hated my arms. I hated my legs. I hated everything. I hated the way I walked. I just hated it. I would put a fake smile on and plaster it on my face and pretend that everything was okay. And the moment I got home, I wouldn't look in the mirrors. I have seven mirrors in my room and I would just come upstairs and eat and eat and then go to bed. I would have snacks laying in my bed and I have a binge eating problem. So I mean, for me, it was really like easy to just emotionally eat and then I'd binge and then I'd feel like crap and then I'd just go to bed. And then I'd wake up in the morning feeling like crap because I'd go to bed feeling like crap. I woke up one morning and I hit my breaking point. I told myself, Sydney, you're going to kill yourself or you're going to get healthy. One of the two. I was having extremely suicidal thoughts. I had hit the point where my depression had gotten so bad that I was like, is life really worth living because I'm so unhappy? Should I be breathing right now because I'm so fat? I'm so disgusting. I'm the biggest cow I've ever seen. I would looked in the mirror that day because I have a mirror right by my bed and normally I don't look at it. But at that time, I, that morning I did and all I saw was fat, ugly, disgusting, piece of lard, cow, things that just you don't, you're not supposed to think about yourself. You're not supposed to feel that way about yourself because you're supposed to love yourself. And I realized, number one, I didn't love myself. I didn't love the way I looked. I didn't love my life. I started hating my life. I started thinking that it would be better if I were dead because I didn't like, I hated, like I don't use the word hate often and I honestly hated my life. I was at the point where I was going to kill myself. I was going to end my life because I wasn't happy and I realized, Sydney, you're stronger than that. You can change your life. You can make your life better. And I had no idea what was gonna happen. I didn't know that I was gonna feel this way. I just knew that 
if I was going to do something about it and I had a chance to change it and empower myself, then I was going to do it. On December 17th of 2014, I started posting positive, I started going on walks, and then I started doing like walking and like jogging um, in my neighborhood, just a lap around my neighborhood, and then um, maybe two, at some points I would do two. I just got outside, I got active, I started tracking what I was eating on my fitness pal. I changed my life and I felt better about it. It was slowly, it was super gradual, it wasn't anything that was like, gosh, I'm gonna go protein load today, I'm gonna go eat all this stuff, because at that point I wasn't used to even eating meat. I literally would just eat carbs and it was the bad complex carbs, guys. I would eat chips, I would eat all those things that just weren't, like, you can have them in moderation, but I would literally sit down and eat a family-sized bag and think it's okay. I made goals for myself. I created my account on Instagram. You guys can scroll all the way down. You guys can see my first post. You guys can see all those things. I started tracking on my fitness pal. I started seeing what I was eating, and then I started making the changes. I told my friends and my family that I wanted to make this change. I don't think that they thought I was serious about it because you know, a lot of people say that they're gonna do it and then they don't follow through, but I was so motivated. I had the motivation within myself before anyone could tell me, go do 20 squats, I was already going and doing something. I started my calories and stuff, and the calorie intake, the whole thing with that is that I don't re really recommend this to everyone. I'm gonna do an entire video about this, but basically I had such little knowledge that what I did was a calorie deficit, obviously. I'd gone from overeating to eating enough to lose weight. So I'd normally be at like 1400 calories a day. So with that in the beginning, I mean, it took me a long time, about a month or two, to really get down a little bit lower into that calorie range and then I started going for walks outside and at that point it was like December January so it wasn't very hot it was perfect then um, I started boot camp in January so I woke up at 4 in the morning went with my mom to boot camp worked out which put me on a really really great track with that um I was eating pretty well because I packed my lunches for school and then I joined the gym on March 30th of 2015. Yeah, that was three months into my journey basically. After that, I found the love for the gym and the working out and the exercises. And not that I didn't like going to boot camp because I love boot camp. Sometimes I go there just for random sessions and stuff. Um, but having the motivation to go to the gym and being there around people that are like-minded and wanting to go work out and wanting to do these things. For such a long time, I was just a cardio bunny. I didn't lift, I didn't try that, I didn't want to because the best thing for fat loss is cardio. But the thing is, I was so scared. I was so intimidated by people at the gym and I realized one day um, eventually after you know a while that I needed to start lifting before in the very beginning of the gym I had my mom drive me to the gym I had my dad drive me to the gym because um I couldn't drive at that point and it wasn't very far so my parents were okay with it I'd spend about an hour at the gym maybe 45 minutes I would get my little workout in and then I'd go home but the ways that I would stay motivated during this entire process is I would buy workout clothes I buy pretty cheap um, workout pants which they're around like 10 to 15 bucks per pair which honestly isn't that expensive and that's when they're full price so those ones are the dance game brand those are my favorite because they're capris and they cover enough where I can wear them like out in public pretty easy but I bought myself some workout clothes to motivate myself to keep working out I created realistic goals that I could hit in the beginning if you guys go and look back I would take pictures progress pictures I used the scale a lot because I was trying to lose um, fat. I was dropping the weight pretty quickly and pretty steadily. I would buy protein bars, protein, like random foods that I like, the Lenny and Larry's cookies. Um, I would treat myself to things like that. And when you don't have the money to do those things, the best thing you can do for yourself is create goals and create ways that you can motivate yourself. Have a special quote. My favorite quote that I um, had the entire time I was trying to lose the fat was, do it for the holy shit, you got hot. Sophomore year, I started my journey and people are superficial in high school and I came back junior year so many guys came up to me so many of them saying wow so you look so good like let's hook up let's do these things the biggest thing for me was the fact that I felt like everyone had noticed and that was like a pretty big motivation for me but I know some people are older and some people are in high school if you're in high school I want you to know that I completely understand I completely get the whole lifestyle thing I completely understand that you don't always have time to meal prep you don't you have friends you want to go out and stuff like that and I I've been there I've done that I've had my fair share of drinking way too many drinks that are like filled with calories like Dutch Bros and stuff like that I made the change and it was super gradual with my eating and my working out I increased it I started educating myself I started watching 
Nikki Blackletter, Heidi Sommers. Um, I would look at all these accounts and I would just fall in love with the way that they love themselves and the way that they, you know, work out and the way that I didn't want to be them, but I wanted to aspire to be like one of them. I've completed things that I never dreamed I could do. I can run an eight minute and 32 second mile, which I mean, for some people that's really slow, but for me, I did a 15 minute mile and that was hard. And now I'm at an eight minute and 32 second mile. Um, I can fit into women's medium. I love the way that I feel. I love the fact that my life doesn't suck anymore and I was the one who changed it. I feel so empowered. Um, I lost 55 pounds. That's something I never dreamed. I never dreamed I'd be able to lose 50. When I hit the 40 mark, when I hit the 30 mark before that, and then when I hit the 50 mark, I thought, Holy crap, Sydney, you did this on your own. No one gave you a special magical pill. No one gave you surgery. No one did any of that. You did it on your own with hard work, exercise, healthy eating. This isn't just a short-term thing. Being healthy is a lifestyle. It's not some quick fix for summer. It's a way of life. Putting myself higher rather than dropping myself lower and having to start all over again because my favorite thing is seeing progress. My life before, I was insecure. I was depressed. I was becoming very suicidal. I ate crap. I was 233 pounds. I was obese. I was covered in stretch marks and fat and felt disgusting. I felt disgusted with myself. I felt like I was a fat cow. And compared to now where I'm 178 pounds, I'm not super muscular, but I have muscle on me that I'm building. I'm motivated. I am happy. I'm healthy. I'm I feel amazing with my body. I feel proud of myself. I feel empowered and my happiness isn't fake anymore. I'm not pretending. It's real. It's something that I'm very, very, very grateful for. I wake up in the morning and I think, wow, you've come a long way. I have energy. One of the symptoms with um, having hypothyroidism is that you don't have energy, that you're always tired, that you gain weight very easily, that you can't lose weight. I don't feel those symptoms anymore because I'm healthy. I lift weights now with the guys at the gym and the other day, one of the guys was like, wow, you're more intense than half the guys here. There's some crazy guys, but you are one crazy girl. And I felt so great because he was saying it as a compliment. He wasn't saying it to be like, you're crazy. He was saying it as in like, you are intense. You are great. Like you are really motivated. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I'm very motivated. I want my life to be a certain way. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are motivated or if you guys are not motivated, even if you guys just want information, if you guys want help, if you guys want to be able to talk to someone about this, I get it. Questions, if you guys need help with something, I'm never going to judge you. I'm, I've honestly been there. I've had so many times where I didn't want to eat that or I would really, really badly want to Snickers and you know what? I would go eat that Snickers. Mostly it would be like Butterfinger or Reese's. If you just want someone to help you, guide you through the journey, I'm not going to do it for you, but I can definitely give you guys some pointers because this is from my personal experience and I've been through it. I'm in high school. If you are in high school, if you are in college, if you are an adult living your daily life, I can still help you because I've been through it and I completely understand that sometimes you just need that person to talk to. You just need someone to say, hey, you've got this. and. Sometimes I even need that and that's when I go on my Instagram account and I have so many supportive people on there, so many people that they'll just leave a nice comment. Like I had a bad day a couple days ago where I literally drove to the gym blasting screamo music, which I normally don't listen to, and screaming F you, F you, and just screaming it because I was like in tears and I had had such a bad day and I was going to go work it out. And, but I needed to like compose myself enough to go into the gym so I started screaming while I was driving. And you know what? I posted it on my Instagram account and I've had so many supportive people that were like, Cindy, you've got this. Um, but I'm never going to judge you because honestly, it's life. This is, a th this is life. This is how it works. You have to create a lifestyle that you love. And if you want someone to be able to support you, you guys can always reach out to me. I will be there. I have a Snapchat account that I will... I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I love Snapchatting and um, I have my fitness account, which I'm always on. I'm logged into that one more than I am my other account and yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoy and I love you guys with all my heart and honestly, I'm going to get ready to start like another fat loss type thing. I'm going to probably maybe do a talking video about that eventually. but. This is my journey, this is my story. 